We now have a very good idea as to what all 32 NFL teams will be doing during draft weekend. We think that it's going to be a wide receiver on the heels of the news. If you don't have Mike Williams, you don't have Keenan Allen. Now it's just Quinn Johnson. He was disappointing last year. We present the ninth edition of our 2024 NFL first round mock draft. Number one, Chicago Bears from Carolina Panthers, Caleb Williams. The Justin Fields trade to Pittsburgh all but confirms that the Bears are making Caleb Williams the first overall pick in 2024. There isn't anything to think about at this point. Williams, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, Khalil Herbert, and DeAndre Swift? Yeah, the future certainly hasn't looked this bright for the Bears nation in quite some time. Number two, Washington Commanders, Jaden Daniels. Drake May felt like a virtual lock at number two here, but the 2023 Heisman Trophy winner has seen his stock skyrocket. It's starting to feel like Cliff Kingsbury would prefer to work with a dual threat QB like Daniels, similar to what he had with Kyler Murray in Arizona. Daniels feels like the safer pick than May, and his upside is just a tiny bit higher. It's practically a coin flip, but Daniels feels like the smarter selection here. Number three, New England Patriots, Drake May. Unless the Pats get a can't-miss offer for the number three pick, they have a pretty easy choice here. Stand back and take whoever remains between Daniels and May. There's no guarantee that New England will be in a good spot to draft a top QB prospect next year, so may as well get your guy now and start grooming him. If he's not NFL ready, well, that's why you just signed Jacoby Brissett. Number four, Arizona Cardinals, Marvin Harrison Jr. If the Patriots surprise everybody and take a non-quarterback at number three, then Arizona could very well trade this pick to a QB needy team. But in an ideal world, they just stay here at number four and watch Harrison Jr. fall into their laps. Receiver is this team's biggest need, and Harrison Jr. is the best pass-catching prospect in quite some time. He would immediately single-handedly change the dynamic of this Arizona passing game that is absolutely devoid of game-wrecking receivers. Number five, Los Angeles Chargers, Romo Dunze. One can argue that the Bolts need to prioritize the O-line here, but the departures of Keenan Allen and Mike Williams suddenly open up a glaring need for a receiver. Plus, it's not just a position of need, but it's also the player here. Odunze is not far off from Harrison Jr. as a prospect. He too has future All-Pro written all over him. Pairing the Washington product with Justin Herbert's gunslinging arm would ensure that the Chargers' offense is in good hands for years to come. Number 6. New York Giants – Malik Neighbors The Giants can blame the quarterback, the O-line, the defense, the coach, or the GM, but here's the cold hard truth. They haven't had a 1,000-yard wide receiver since Odell Beckham Jr. back in 2018. So what else can the G-men do with this pick? Of course it has to be the best remaining wideout, and LSU's Malik neighbors would immediately give this Giants passing game an explosive piece to recharge that offense. If Daniel Jones can't show any improvement with a guy like neighbors, then Big Blue knows they have to, have to get a new QB. Number 7. Tennessee Titans – Joe Alt The signing of Calvin Ridley means that the Titans don't have to worry about a receiver here. They can take the most NFL-ready offensive tackle in Notre Dame's Joe Alt. Now, you got Joe Alt and 2023 first-rounder Peter Skaronsky manning the edges of that O-line for the long-term future. These Titans will be back to bully ball before long. Number 8. Atlanta Falcons – Dallas Turner by winning the Kirk Cousins sweepstakes in free agency, the Falcons' offense is practically complete and ready for takeoff. That means taking the best edge rusher available to shore up a never-ending weakness. Dallas Turner and Grady Jarrett would be a menacing tandem that could help Raheem Morris' defense emerge as a top-10 group. Number 9. Chicago Bears Brock Bowers Can't have too many weapons in today's NFL. We know Caleb has two superstar wideouts in Keenan Allen and DJ Moore, but adding the best tight end of this class to the offense would be a nightmare scenario for the rest of the NFL. Keeping in mind that Allen's entering his age 32 season, the Bears should think long-term with Williams' supporting cast. Bowers is the perfect piece to ensure immediate success for Williams. Number 10. New York Jets – Olamuiwa Fashanu We know the Jets brought in Tyron Smith, Morgan Moses, and John Simpson to beef up a leaky O-line, but with Smith on a one-year deal, this feels like a golden opportunity to draft plus develop the franchise's next great blindside protector. Even if Aaron Rodgers doesn't have much playing time left, the next Jets QB will flourish that much more with Fashanu protecting him. Number 11. Minnesota Vikings – J.J. McCarthy don't be shocked if the Vikings trade up to get their QB, but having teams with the number 4 to number 10 picks not needing a QB? It's pretty reasonable to think that Minnesota can get their guy without having to move. McCarthy is a polarizing prospect, but someone's got to bet on his upside. I to think that the cons are throwing to Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison, and TJ Hawkinson with offensive guru Kevin O'Connell calling the plays. 
Number 12. Denver Broncos, Bo Nix This may be a reach, but the Broncos have to do something at QB after releasing Russell Wilson. Sean Payton spent 15 years with Drew Brees and knows what it's like to have a pure pocket passer with grade A pinpoint accuracy. Nix may need some time to hone his craft as the pros, but he's worth taking a chance on. A future Hall of Fame head coach mentoring Nix? Yeah, the Oregon product could be in much worse situations. Number 13. Las Vegas Raiders Terry and Arnold Trayvon Merrick and Nate Hobbs have emerged as quality defensive backs and Raiders defense that finished ninth in scoring a year ago. That said, they could sure use a pure shutdown cover corner to take the defense to a whole new level. And Arnold really checks off all the boxes there. A defensive-minded coach like Antonio Pierce will love Arnold's work ethic, character, and high football IQ to give Vegas its first elite cornerback since Nam Asimov more than a decade ago. Number 14, New Orleans Saints. Troy Fautanu. Ryan Ramstreck's career is in jeopardy with a nagging knee injury, and 2022 first rounder Trevor Penning has been a complete bust up to this point. In other words, help is needed at offensive tackle. Derek Carr took way too many shots last year, so let's plug in the Washington product as a day one starter in New Orleans. Fautanu allowed just two sacks and 1,231 pass blocking snaps over his final two years of college per Pro Football Focus. So he seems like he'd be the perfect fit. Number 15, Indianapolis Colts. Layatu Latu. The pass rush is the Colts' biggest strength, but they do need some help at linebacker. The 6'5", 265 pound Latu is tailor made for the Colts' defense, anchored by DeForest Buckner, Quiddy Pay, and Samson Ebicom. I mean, 23.5 sacks and 5 forced fumbles over his last two years sort of speaks for itself. Number 16, Seattle Seahawks. Talisa Fuaga. The departure of Damian Lewis further stresses the Seahawks' need to address the O line. Oregon State's Talisa Fuaga is a plug and play prospect who didn't allow a single sack over his final two seasons of college ball. Do you think that Geo Smith would be happy with a guy like Fuaga? We think so. Number 17, Jacksonville Jaguars. Quinion Mitchell. The Jaguars had the seventh worst pass defense last season and lost two quality starters in Ray Sean Jenkins and Darius Williams. So, yeah, some cornerback help is gonna be needed. Mitchell has the skill set to be a Jalen Ramsey esque shutdown quarter in this league. He's also a certified ball hawker specialist with 37 pass breakups and six interceptions over the 2022 and 2023 seasons. Number 18, Cincinnati Bengals, J.C. Latham. We could see our receiver here, but the Bengals will find it tough to pass on a hard-nosed, in-your-face offensive tackle like Alabama's J.C. Latham. He has some work to do as a pass blocker, but he makes up for it as a five-star run blocker. The upside is tremendously high, and the Bengals should definitely bet on it. Number 19, Los Angeles Rams, Michael Penix Jr. This might be a reach, but it also just feels like the perfect landing spot for Penix Jr. He's a boomer bust prospect and certainly won't be ready to start in 2024. But learning behind Matthew Stafford and Sean McVay for two to three years before getting the reins, yeah, that's worth a shot if you ask us. The Rams don't have any major weaknesses elsewhere, so it's worth rolling the dice on Penix's skill set and trusting McVay to unleash him as a star. Number 20, Pittsburgh Steelers. Adonai Mitchell. Trading Deontay Johnson means Pittsburgh needs another WR to help out Russell Wilson and George Pickens. The Steelers have a rich history of finding stud pass catchers with their day two and three picks, but Omar Khan will have a difficult time passing up on Mitchell's talents. Pickens is trouble for opposing teams as is. Now imagine adding the speedy Texas wideout and deep threat specialist into the mix. Number 21, Miami Dolphins. Jerzon Newton. The Dolphins shocked everybody by letting superstar defensive tackle Christian Wilkins leave in free agency, even though the franchise tag was an option. Their only excuse for letting Wilkins go is to find a replacement in the draft. So how about Illinois product Jerzon Newton? He's an explosive pass rusher who would immediately shore up a vulnerable Miami run D that will implode without a competent Wilkins replacement. Number 22, Philadelphia Eagles. Cooper DeGene. Only Washington had a worse pass D last year than Philadelphia. The solution is simple here. Take the best remaining cornerback in the number 22 spot. Iowa's Cooper DeGene has excellent versatility, similar to Jalen Ramsey, Tyron Matthew, and Kyle Hamilton. With his size and reach, he can easily step up and emerge as Philly's new superstar shutdown corner. Number 23, Minnesota Vikings from Houston Texans via Cleveland Browns. Jared Verse. Losing four time Pro Bowler Daniel Hunter in free agency after a career year stings big time in Minnesota. But they can ease the pain by taking an explosive edge rusher like Verse, who racked up 18 sacks over his last two years at Florida State. 
Number 24. Dallas Cowboys, Amarius Mims Tyron Smith's surprising departure leaves a giant void on the Cowboys' offensive line. Georgia's Amarius Mims is a near-complete prospect with grade-A run blocking and pass blocking skills. Working alongside Tyler Smith, Dallas' O-line would be well-positioned to continue dominating for the next decade. Number 25. Green Bay Packers, Brian Thomas Jr. Pretty amazing that the Packers made the playoffs and reached the divisional round despite not having a single receiver with 800 yards. At some point, the front office has to wake up and actually get a true WR1 for Jordan Love. Right? LSU's Brian Thomas Jr. is a prolific home run threat who caught 17 touchdown passes last year. Not to mention, he averaged 17.3 yards per carry. A receiving trio of Thomas, Christian Watson, and Jaden Reed would be nightmare fuel for opposing defenses. Number 26. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Nate Wiggins The Bucs traded away Carlton Davis to the Lions, making an already vulnerable pass defense significantly worse. GM Jason Light shouldn't hesitate to take the best remaining quarterback, which is going to be Wiggins in this exercise. Number 27. Arizona Cardinals, from Houston, Texas Tyler Guyton Arizona used the number 6 pick last year on Paris Johnson Jr., but there is still lots of work to do on that O-line. But pairing Johnson with Tyler Guyton, Arizona could have two young cornerstones on that O-line for years to come. And we just know that Kyler Murray would absolutely love this pick. Number 28. Buffalo Bills, Byron Murphy II the Bills' defense has undergone a giant facelift this offseason, so don't be surprised if they go with the top remaining defensive player here. With Von Miller past his prime and Leonard Floyd departing in free agency, it wouldn't hurt to add another defensive lineman to this group. The 308-pound Murphy single-handedly wreaks havoc in the run-stopping game and can be an ideal complement to Ed Oliver and Terrell Bernard. Number 29. Detroit Lions – Chop Robinson The Lions have a budding superstar in Aiden Hutchinson on the defensive line, but they are sorely lacking in game-wrecking pass rushers after him. So, here's their chance to address that weakness and put Detroit one step closer to toppling the 49ers in the NFC. Number 30. Baltimore Ravens – Braylon Trice Baltimore's stingy defense has lost three veteran stalwarts in Geno Stone, Tyus Bowser, and Patrick Queen. They gotta add some more youth on this unit, and another edge rusher would be just perfect for new defensive of coordinator Zach Orr. Trice had seven sacks last season and led the Huskies to a national championship game appearance. A player with his confidence and swagger could be that final piece needed to help Baltimore finally get over the playoff hump. Number 31. San Francisco 49ers Kool-Aid McKinstry 49ers have needed another capable shutdown corner for quite some time now. As we saw in the Super Bowl loss to Kansas City, the pieces just aren't there to hold up with a prolific passing game. Alabama's Kool-Aid McKinstry would be a fun fit in the secondary with Charvarius Ward and Talanoa Hufunga. Number 32. Kansas City Chiefs Xavier Worthy We know the Chiefs just signed Hollywood Brown. But he's only on a one-year deal, and who knows how much longer Travis Kelsey actually is going to be able to play. Pairing Worthy with Rashi Rice would give Patrick Mahomes two dynamic long-term weapons to make sure that this offense doesn't miss a beat. Somehow, the back-to-back -back defending champs will have just gotten even more dangerous in the passing game. But which 2024 NFL Draft prospect do you want your team to select with their first pick? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.